Hi Kingdom, welcome back. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And um, I do have this series that I'm doing, uh, which is uh, Traits of a Narcissist. And I jumped over seven and went right to eight. So today I wanna do uh, trait number seven, which is the narcissist is always the victim. So are you with someone that regardless of what's going on in their life, they never tell you what they did wrong. They never take accountability for what they did wrong. They never apologize. They never, the story always revolves around how someone has mistreated them. The story always revolves around you, that you are to feel sorry for them. Um, they will uh, give you the uh, sympathy card for you to feel sorry for them, that they are the victim and that their whole life is built around everyone, everyone, their mother, their father, their sister, their brother, their friends. Everyone has done something wrong to them. They are always the victim. Every story, everything that they say out of their mouth is always coming from a victim mindset, a victim mentality. A victim is got to, at some point, pick themselves up and figure out that maybe they are part of the problem or that they are the problem. Because in life, as I have always say, there is no perfect person. So if we are continuing this cycle that we are all, every person, that every person, when I mean every person, I mean every person has done them wrong. Their kids have done them wrong. Their parents have done them wrong. Their siblings have done them wrong. Their family members have done them wrong. So you mean to tell me that no one in this person's life has done ever done anything of value and of good for them and to them? Come on. Come on. What did they do in that scenario? What is it that they could have done differently in that scenario? What is it that they said that they shouldn't have said in that scenario? But they, you will never hear the narcissist give you that point of view. The point of view is always from the victim mindset mentality that, whoa, it's me whoa, all these things have happened to me. Now, I've had a lot of things happen to me in my life, and I know that you guys have had a lot of things happen to you in your life. But I know for me, I always uh, self-reflect, and I always say, okay, even if, when, if let's say a scenario didn't go right, or you you got in, I got into an argument with someone or disagreed with someone. When everything is said and done, I always, in my mind, I go back and I play it back and I say, you know, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe that triggered that person or um, maybe I should have uh, paid attention a little bit more. Whatever the scenario is, I always self-reflect and then, I will always go back and I will always say to that person, you know, um, please accept my apologies. I'm going to take accountability for my part in that. That's what uh, grown people do. We figure out how we could have done it differently, what we did wrong in the situation, and we try to go back and we try to mend and we try to fix or we try to rebuild what we what just occurred you don't want to stay in that space but these people do not know how to do that everything in life is always someone else's fault everything in life is something that someone did wrong to them so trait number seven 
did your narcissist have this trait? When you first met the narcissist, was this something that made you empathetic to them because you felt as though the world had done them wrong because that's the version of the story that they have given you. So comment in a comment section, Kingdom, and let me know, does your narcissist have this trait that they are always the victim no matter what? Even though they will stir the pot, even though they will say inappropriate things, even though they will start the argument, no matter what it is, when they tell their version of the story, it's always going to be that they are the victim. So kingdom, I love you. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Be a blessing. Remember, you are part of the kingdom. And I appreciate you and love you so much. Bye-bye.